This video is about the 5004 PLFC rotor. The 5000 series of rotors are some of our most popular rotors, and the Plus models are the upgraded version. We're going to discuss a few of the features and show you how to change out a nozzle and make some adjustments. I'm Dwayne Smith, your sprinkler warehouse product specialist. Let's get started. This is the 5004 PLFC full circle rotor. The PL stands for plus, which means that it has flow shutoff capability, which allows you to shut off the flow of water to the individual heads. So you can work on the head without turning off your system or work on the next head over without getting wet. This rotor turns in a continuous 360 degree non-reversing pattern. You cannot adjust the pattern on this one. It always turns full circle. There's a matching model to this one, the 5004 PLPC, which has an adjustable pattern. Use the full circle pattern rotors for the center of your yard and the adjustable pattern rotors for the edges and corners. This rotor pops up four inches and it has a three quarter inch inlet. The 5000 series comes with these enhanced rain curtain nozzles, which make for very even spray over their entire distance and they make larger water droplets, which means more water ends up on your lawn rather than being carried away by the wind. The 5000s have a watering distance of 25 to 50 feet, depending on which nozzle is installed and how the adjustment screw is set. The 5000 series of rotors are known for their longevity. Rainbird rotors have the longest operating life cycle of any rotor on the market. You can adjust the rotor with a Rainbird tool like this one or a small flathead screwdriver. So let's look at the top of the rotor. This little raised area here is where you set the radius adjustment screw. By radius, I mean watering distance. Over here is the pull-up slot. Use a Rainbird tool for that. And right here in the center is your flow stop slot. That's where you turn off the flow of water to the head. Let's go look at one of these rotors that's already installed. There's two basic ways to access the nozzle while the rotor's in the ground. One method is to pull up the riser by inserting the Rainbird tool in the pull-up slot. You can use a hold-up nozzle install collar to make it easier, or you can hold the riser up with your hand. Since this rotor has flow stop, another way to access the nozzle is to turn on the zone and shut off the water to the head using the flow stop slot. The riser stays in the up position, which makes it easy to work on. Whichever method you choose, you'll need to back out the radius adjustment screw. Once it's out of the way of the nozzle, pull out the nozzle with a pair of needle nose pliers or pry it out with a flathead screwdriver. Insert the new nozzle. And screw back down the radius adjustment screw. Don't try to tighten the screw, you're just getting it down in front of the nozzle to hold it in place. Now start the water either by turning on the zone or by using the flow shutoff slot. Use the radius adjustment screw to set your watering distance. The spray from this rotor should reach the next rotor over. Rainbird rotors will give you years of reliable service. Order your 5004 PLFCs today on sprinklerwarehouse.com. Remember, Sprinkler Warehouse has everything you need to make your trees, lawn, flower beds, and gardens lush and beautiful questions, chat with one of our incredible customer service agents on sprinklerwarehouse.com. They really do know their stuff and they'll get you squared away. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for helpful tips, tutorials, and general sprinkler instruction. Sprinkler Warehouse, America's most shop sprinkler store.